Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. So we're going to take a look at Mercury Retrograde Energy. Um, Mercury will be, will be retrograding in the sign of Aries. We're already in the pre-shadow period and the retrograde officially starts um, April 1st through the 24th and then post-shadow will last approximately two weeks after that. Of course, we're with, with retrogrades, communication, travel, um, all of that could be an issue, as well as people from the past returning, whether it's um, past people, you've been in relationships with family members, friends. Um, I also read that you should avoid making hasty decisions. Make sure you think things through before making any, I'm hearing purchases, major purchases for someone. Also, again, something with travel, travel plans. There may be some delays. For some of you, you may be going through an identity crisis. You may be deciding to spruce things up a little bit when it comes to your appearance, your hair, dress. Um, somebody may be deciding, you know, to dabble a little bit in makeup. Some of you could be deciding to go natural. I'm also hearing exercise regimen. Um, I've also gotten some messages for career. For some of you, you may be pursuing old passions. Um, th some old jobs, or I should say an old job, could be contacting you. You may be finding out some information pertaining to an old job. Um, but definitely career for someone. It's going to be very significant for the retrograde. And then we have marriage. That spirit gave me that as well. Be mindful of your communication. Try not to dwell on things of the past. Um, especially things that were negative when it came to the relationship. Um, just try to smooth over any type of disagreements, quarrels, so that it doesn't create any type of disharmony. So definitely watch your communication. And let's tap in. Spirit, tell me more about Capricorn. For a retrograde, I have leaving. Okay. Bottom of the deck, religion and spirituality. So for some of you, you could be um, changing your belief systems. For some of you, you could be deciding to become more religious. Others of you, you could be um, deciding to become more spiritual. Um, for some of you, too, you could be walking away from a union, a relationship, I'm getting marriage, looking at this religion and spirituality. Let's go ahead and tap in further. Spirit, tell me why it's leaving here for Capricorn. What's the message? Why is leaving here for Capricorn? What's the energy, Spirit? The Six of Wands. Tell me more. Somebody could be leaving a job. Something could have to do with retiring. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Tell me more about the Six of Wands. Oh, the High Priestess in the reverse and the Eight of Wands. Somebody's going to be receiving bad news. And it's going to be public with the High Priestess in the reverse. Somebody's secrets could be coming out. Somebody's going to be exposed. Tell me more about the High Priestess. Pisces energy. Tell me more about the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here for Capricorn? The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Something's going to be halted. For some of you, somebody's spiritual gifts could be halted. Somebody may not be able to use their spiritual gifts. Somebody could have a platform. Give me an energy for the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here for Capricorn? What is the energy? I have the Ace of Swords because somebody's a liar. Somebody's not a truth speaker. Somebody um could be using their gifts for the wrong purposes, telling people what they want to hear instead of what spirit God is actually giving them. For some of you, somebody's lying about actually having spiritual gifts. I feel like this person speaks lies. Give me an energy for the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Oh, yeah, this isn't somebody's purpose. Somebody's not even supposed to be doing this. Whatever somebody's doing when it comes to a platform, and they don't even have to be anything in the spiritual community or religious community. We do have religion and spirituality here, so for some of you it is. But whatever this person is doing that gets them attention, public attention, it's not meant for them. 
Aquarius energy. They're not supposed to be doing it. Somebody's lying to themselves. For some of you, I feel like bad things are happening or they will start. Give me energy for the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Capricorn? What is the energy? I have the King of Pentacles and the Sun. Aquarius, I mean, Leo energy. Aquarius, Leo are, is um, North Node, South Node energy. Somebody's going to be spo exposed. Somebody's reputation is going to be ruined. This is just exposure energy for some of you. Something has to do with somebody that you're in a commitment with. Or this could be happening to somebody that's energetically tied to you. But some type of truth is coming out. Somebody could be finding out also that a child doesn't belong to them. Why is the King of Pentacles here for Capricorn? Oh, yeah. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and the Two of Cups. This masculine energy is going to be walking away from this relationship. Somebody severing ties or this feminine energy. We do have the Queen of Pentacles, but it's in the reverse. Somebody's leaving. There will be a disconnect, but for some of you, it has to do with a child. The paternity of a child. Why is the sun here for Capricorn? What is the energy? Why is the sun here for Capricorn? The magician in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's manipulation is just not going to work. Or it's no longer going to work. Somebody's being exposed. Somebody's true colors are coming to light. Just know that Capricorn. Give me an energy for the page of Pentacles in the reverse. Something could also have to do with falsified documentation. That's going to be coming to light. For some of you, this is concerning work. I have the seven, look at this, seven of swords in reverse. There are some lies that are coming out. The truth is being revealed. Ten of swords, for some of you, this has to do with the betrayal. Tell me more about the seven of swords. Somebody could have also been talking behind your back. That's coming out. Give me an energy for the seven of swords. Why is the seven of swords here for Capricorn? What's the energy? The hermit. Somebody's been trying to keep these lies covered up. Virgo energy, but it's not going to work. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Capricorn? What's the energy? The Fool in the reverse. Something that has to do with neglect as well when it comes to a child or children. Why is the Hermit here for Capricorn? What is the energy? Heavy Aquarius energy, justice. Somebody could be trying to secretly seek after justice themselves but whatever this person is trying to do is not going to work it's like somebody wants revenge but it's not going to work for some of you it's giving me like a revenge plot going wrong type of energy tell me more somebody could have libra highly aspected why is the fool in the reverse here for capricorn what's the energy the three of pentacles something has to do with work so for some of you somebody wanted you halted, stagnated when it comes to your job, your career. Whether it's something you do online, whether it's a traditional job, nine to five, somebody did not want you to be able to move forward, to have a new cycle. And I feel like this person created a lot of illusions around who you are. For some of you, something has to do with your reputation. This person lied on you. False information, false documentation for some of you. Something definitely has to do with a false document. All of that is coming to light. Give me an energy for the fool in the reverse. Why is the fool in the reverse here for Capricorn? What is the energy? I have the nine of swords and the knight of wands in the reverse. Somebody is extremely immature. Somebody could be very naive as well. For some of you, somebody was like naive enough to think that this was going to work. Somebody didn't care. Somebody was not worried. And something definitely has to do with your passions, your drive. Like, somebody did not want you to be able to take that next step. Give me an energy for the Ten of Swords. Something could also have to do with college. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody wanted to sabotage your destiny. That's what this is. Whatever was ordained for you to be, to accomplish, somebody did not want you to did not want you to accomplish that Capricorn the number 10 can be significant with the 10 of swords and the 10 of pentacles somebody could be seeing 10 10 why is the 10 of swords here for Capricorn what's the energy 
I have the world and the five of wands. Somebody tried to create a whole bunch of conflict. For some of you, like I said, this is online. Some of you could have actually been in some type of like back and forth online disagreement. But somebody just wants to start drama and somebody wants to do it public. It's all about public attention, whether it's, you know, around the office, whether it's online. For some of you, family. This is a situation concerning a family member. It's like this person just wants attention. This is somebody that's very attention seeking. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy on the world. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Capricorn? What's the energy? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Capricorn? What's the energy spirit? The Page of Swords. Somebody wanted to, to watch you lose. <laughs> Somebody wanted you to lose. They didn't want you to win in life. Somebody didn't want you to be successful and they wanted to watch your life crumble. They wanted you to lose everything, lose it all and have to start over but not be able to get anywhere. Give me an energy for the world. Why is the world here for Capricorn? The Eight of Swords in the reverse. Tell me more about the world. I feel like for some of you, you're seeing, look at this, the devil, Capricorn, your energy. So for some of you, this could be a Capricorn or somebody that has a highly aspected. But I feel like you're starting to see, you have a new view on this entire situation or you will. Whether it's career related, concerning a relationship, family. I feel like you're finally going to be seeing this job, this person, these people as toxic. You're going to see them in their true light as karmics. I feel like this is a karmic or these are multiple karmics in your life that you are going to be getting rid of, freeing yourself from. If it's a job, you're going to be moving on. But it, I feel like for some of you where this is a person, um, it's like drama follows this person. Conflict, just chaos, confusion follows this energy. Tell me more about the devil. Why is the devil here for Capricorn? What's the energy? Why is the devil here for Capricorn? What is the message? Ooh, and somebody gonna be under judgment horrible judgment judgment in the reverse somebody about to go through some horrible karma but some of you this person's life is going to be conflicted this person's reputation something could be public when it comes to this energy there could be some kind of public spat as well that could be happening online give me an energy for the five of wands why is the five of wands here for capricorn what is the energy the Queen of Cups, something that has to do with um, a mother figure, the mother of someone's child that constantly tries to create drama. For some of you, this is your own mom. Give me an energy for the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here for Capricorn? What's the energy? I can't make Nine of Wands in the reverse and the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Energy. Somebody's going to go through some horrible karma. This person's not protected. There's nothing this feminine energy can do. Or this could be a masculine operating more in his femininity. Give me an energy for the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here for Capricorn? What's the energy? Why is the Queen of Cups here for Capricorn? What is the energy spirit? The Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this is somebody that's jealous of you. This Queen of Cups and Nine of Pentacles is two different energies. Somebody's just jealous. It's all out of envy. And for some of you, this is like a mom jealous of her own child. But somebody's jealous of your independence, of your energy, you being good natured. I'm hearing endurance, the fact that you don't give up. For some of you, somebody's jealous of your gifts. Somebody just don't like you. For some of you, if this isn't a mother figure, this could just be a water sign feminine. I feel like you're very compassionate. And somebody really wanted to see you lose. And I'm hearing lose it all. Tower in the reverse. Go through endless towers. Endless towers. For some of you, something could have to do with a third party energy as well. That somebody was in a relationship with. I feel like this person is about to be stopped. Whatever hateful ass this person has been doing is going to be stopped. Temperance because it's just time. Somebody was acting without integrity. For some of you, something has to do with the boss or supervisor. I'm hearing CEO. Whoever tried to come up against you, they will be stopped. Let's pull some final messages. And our karma is going to be... Um, very harsh and I'm hearing very fast like 
things are just going to start happening out of nowhere. I'm hearing blue moon. That could be significant. Give me an energy for leaving the page of pentacles. I feel like you get to leave all of this behind and start over. Like spirit is giving you a brand new beginning. Like a brand new life I'm hearing. Give me an energy for religion and spirituality. The Ten of Swords in the reverse. For some of you, I feel like this person tried to betray you because of your beliefs. Something has to do with your belief system. Somebody wanted the worst for you because of what you believe in and what you practice. I'm hearing what you preach. For some of you, this is somebody that don't practice what they preach. They wear a mask. They make people feel like, you know, they're fair and just, but they're really not. Yeah, somebody wanted you in the Five of Pentacles. For some of you, you could have actually um, been in this Five of Pentacles energy. There could have been a struggle, but with the Ace of Pentacles, like you're about to be granted. I'm hearing a wish when it comes to your stability. Ace of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, your finances are getting ready to balance out. And I feel like you don't even see this coming. For some of you too, you don't even see that a relationship, a new partnership is coming in for you as well. I'm just hearing everything is new. Like you're getting new. Everything. Spirit, give me a final message for Capricorn. What's the energy? Give me a final message for Capricorn. What's the energy? Wow, Ten of Swords, everything is fine, and the Page of Cups. For some of you, this is a friend. Somebody really wanted you, like, down and out. Like, somebody wanted you... This is like a double betrayal. Because I feel like... Not only did this person want the worst for you but I feel like the first betrayal is, is the fact that this person really wanted to see you lose and the second betrayal is going to be who this person is to you like who who this is for some of you this is somebody who's related to you so that's the betrayal that's the double betrayal what this person actually um Want it for your life and then who this person is to you. For some of you, this is somebody that's close. I'm hearing a close relative. I'm also hearing childless. For some of you, this person could be jealous of the fact that um, you're a parent and they don't have any children or they may not be able to conceive. I feel like also this person is jealous of the fact that you're chosen. Somebody's jealous of like your divinity, your calling. Let's pull one more final message. Spirit, give me one more message for Capricorn with the energy. Mercury retrograde. Give me a final message for Capricorn. I feel like this is somebody too that'll come in and apologize. I mean... I'm sorry, not apologize, but well, I said it. So for some of you, this person may actually try to come in and apologize once you find out the truth. But what I meant to say is this is somebody that'll come in and try to like um, cheer you up, make you feel better, knowing the entire time they're the reason why you're in the situation. Like they're the reason why you're dealing with the issues you are currently facing. Somebody's two-faced here. They wear a mask. It says, all is temporary. It's okay not to feel your best. Like the moon, we go through phases. Give yourself time to get your groove back. This too will pass. Will soon pass. For some of you, this person never thought you were going to bounce back. Somebody thought they had ruined you. They destroyed you. But your bounce back game is strong. And with God on your side, there's nothing that you can't endure. So Capricorn, this is your reading. Take what resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.